Okay, hello everybody. Hello, my infernals. It is Kyrie Inferna, and yes, I am actually streaming again. I Woo! took a while off because I had personal shit to deal with, and I am back with a new game that I just got my hands on uh, with me. I am hanging out with uh, Shay, otherwise known hey as Audius Wolf. Uh, Shay, do you still stream, or have you stopped doing that as well? I haven't really done that much because I've been working full time. <laughs> ah, so yeah, IRL's gotten in the way for you as well. Mm -hmm. And then we also have a mutual friend, George. Yeah. How's it going? And as far as I'm aware, Jerch, you don't stream, do you? I've streamed maybe once in my life. <laughs> once in my life. <laughs> and other than that, I've not really done much in terms of making my own media. Try yeah, in the past, it, and it hasn't really taken off, so... I haven't really concerned myself too much with it. Yeah. Hasn't really taken off for me either, but... Yeah. But the main reason why is I've also been working full-time. We all have jobs, is basically the reason. Yeah, it, it, <laughs> essentially what's going on is we all have lives. So. <laughs> <laughs> we anyway. all touch grass. Yes. <laughs> though not for the last couple of months because there's been friggin it's it's winter here in the northern hemisphere still yeah and with winter usually comes snow unless you're in like fucking alabama or in the <laughs> in the bahamas or some shit hey you want my snow i don't want it fuck no <laughs> keep your snow i don't want none of that <laughs> but Anyways, you know, um, oddly enough, there has been little to no snow on my end. So. You want mine on? Oh, lucky! Oh. <laughs> I'll try to send it your way. <laughs> Anyways, we are playing a game called Source of Madness today. This is a Lovecraftian dark fantasy. Um, uh roguelike rpg and it's it's decently difficult it's as long as you know what you're doing you can easily enough dodge just about anything it's just you have to you have to you know be careful because to the to the cthulhu mythos like you can see there i've played for like nine hours mm-hmm but true to the Cthulhu mythos, if you don't play this well, you are if you don't play your cards right, you're Far going to fucking in the die. Skies, on those baleful moon cursing Everything nights, does sound good, uh, Tori, by the way. Can mm -hmm. see awesome. Thank you. No problem. Towers of madness. Staring back menacingly. We must open the third gate. Access to the moon once more. We do this unwillingly. Why? Why not? We must. I mean, most sane people would not willingly jump into a place that's that's literally called the Towers of Madness. You know that's a fair point. <laughs> they just want a little bit of adventure. Adventure! Adventure away! If you're so hard up for adventure that you would willingly go into a place called the Towers of Madness, you're not very sane. <laughs> <laughs> like, sanity has become a very foreign concept for you if you're willingly going to a place called the Towers of Madness. Oh, fuck. <laughs> 
Yeah. Look at that. That's uh, that's the state the world is in now. So many legs. Too many legs. No, never enough legs. I wish I I wish I never saw them. The strange bestial things. <laughs> I must be insane! I am insane! Are you insane too? <laughs> Could be. Yes. If I am mad, it is mercy. May the gods pity the one who, in their callousness, can remain sane to the hideous end. <laughs> <laughs> what will happen to us? I dare not dream. My dreams show too much of what is to come and what was. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you go German for that one in particular? <laughs> because his name was Klaus. <laughs> Klaus? Mein Freund. Yeah. Yeah. Where did you put the sanity? <laughs> I hid it under I'm dead. Magical powers surge through you. An unstable way to warp through space. Yeet! Oh. Yeet! charge. Yeet! Yeet! That's essentially what you're doing. You're tearing a hole through... Ooh, called this key. Another refugee. Yes, indeed, Another we can offer you a safe haven. Take this ring of power and make your way to the Blood Hall. But the be wary, for strange beasts broke through and corrupted the lower levels of the tower. If Yog Sothoth wills it, then you will survive. I want to live. Now throw off your chains. Equip that ring and destroy the barricades. <laughs> chop, chop, bitches. Go. Look at me go! Nothing fancy on this hood, but it keeps you warm. Whee! Oh shit. Hi there, buddy! Go! Uh, go! Fuck you. Door stuck. Door stuck. Boing, <laughs> <laughs> boing. Boing, boing. Boing. Boing, boing. A 
And this is dumb. You have to jump up ladders. That is stupid. <laughs> Let us climb ladders! <laughs> yeah, let's just climb them like normal people. I mean, come on. No, I am not normal. <laughs> so it begins. I am not normal. I'm not normal. You're normal! Oh. Well, we already <laughs> knew you weren't normal, Toru. <laughs> I'm not normal. <laughs> You're normal. <laughs> I'm not normal. You're normal. Fuck you, Nappa. <laughs> I am hilarious, and you will both quote everything I say. <laughs> Alright, so, here's the skill tree. You've got your bonus classes. You start off with the generalist. Okay. And here's the thing. Each class has its own little bonus effect. Like uh, the cryomancer. Uh, if you hold dash you'll slide forward on an icy spike and then you'll deal damage based on your cold resistance to any monster that you run into with that can be quite a lot of damage yeah the higher your cold resistance the more you can do um i actually um the first class that i unlocked was the pyromancer and I've actually gotten my fire resistance so high that I was regularly one-shotting enemies just with my dash. Ah. Which leaves behind a fire bomb that explodes for some damage, and then it'll do damage over time. It'll do fire damage over time. Mm. And then the Blood Mancer, I think that one's been added recently. And essentially, um, this would pair very, very well with the blood band mm -hmm. because the blood band, it'll, it'll deal like, I think the highest I've ever seen it was like, it would, it would deal five damage to you every time you used it, but it would regenerate like 15 health. Was that I'd particular fair trade? Yeah. But that was if you hit an enemy with it. Mm. And then pairing it with this, um, each time, up to a maximum of five, each time you do damage to cast a spell, it'll summon a blood orb, which will slowly do damage over time to increase power. And then when you dash all of the blood orbs that you have summoned will deal a shitload of damage and heal you. Hmm. And then you have a Geomancer, summons a rock shield based on a percentage of your maximum life. And then the Stormcaller, critical hits build up a static field which zaps nearby enemies for 2-5 to five lightning. Yeah, depending on your lightning resistance, it'll probably do more. And then each of those has its own specific spell rings that you can get. Not bad. That'll change how you play the game. Mm -hmm. And then that's the class skills. And then there's all for one, choose between three cultists at the start. And then, you know, that you can get for blood. But then they also have Even Star, which you get by defeating major enemies. Like, I'm talking like major enemies. Like, these things will take up most of your screen when you get to them. Oh, okay. Yeah, like. So, like boss enemies? Uh, mini bosses and bosses. So, and then a lot of these, well, most of these will will take even star 
to upgrade. And then there's the life flask, which will allow you to heal once per level. And then you can upgrade uh, how many charges you can get. Like that one will give you around 50% of your life once per level. And then that one will give you about a hundred uh, life points once per level. And then as you upgrade, it can be used twice and then three times per level. And then the remote vial will actually refill your health flask charges. Hmm. So that's pretty cool. And then you can yeah. upgrade your dash to give you extra charges, reduce the cooldown, you know. And then over here, because this is roguelike, you can eventually get upgrades so that you can get better gear to start with. Like the base one is it'll give you one random spell ring like spell rings are used to attack mm -hmm. and then this first upgrade will enable me to get one of those spell rings at the beginning of a run neat and then this upgrade will allow me to get a robe at the beginning and then this one increases the chance that the stuff I get will be of higher rarity and thus higher power. Hmm. And then you can increase, you know, the tiers, which increases how powerful the stuff will be that I find. It'll increase the minimum threshold. Okay. And then these upgrades will increase the chance of finding yellow items which are really high powered even for the the different ranks so like if i have a rank one um fireball ring and it's white and then i find actually no let's make a better example a rank three white fireball ring that's a common and then i have like a rank one legendary fireball ring the legendary is going to be more powerful than the rank three. Okay. And then power of knowledge. That's just going to be a flat upgrade to damage by like 2% for each of these. Gotcha. And then upgrades to the numinous armoire. Like at the beginning, the first one, it'll give me one random ring. At the end of it, it'll give me not only it'll not only will it have a chance to have higher rarity stuff, but it'll I can also get it upgraded to get two rings instead of just the one. Hmm. But yeah, that's gonna be a while into the game. I have to get some get some upgrades. Let's see. Wave magic, let's swap those. And then Elementalist Veli. Arcane and occult magics are corrupt and connected to the outer gods in ways that are unhealthy. And like I said, the blood band, that one takes that one damages your health to to deal damage to the enemy that does occult damage mm. voice of the supreme we are but lowly worms in the presence of our living god the supreme our headmaster and then the headmaster supreme I wear no mask. 
I have no idea what that means. <laughs> we'll never know. We very well may not. And then the Book of the Dead. And since this is a fresh game, I have no people recorded in the Book of the Dead. Every time you die, it's recorded in here. Oh. Hmm. On that bloodshot moon, it mocks us. Our guardian is gone, and thus we have no other option than to open the third gate once more. We must travel to the vile moon of our past mistakes and destroy whatever holds the key. Alright then. And then this elevator just plunges down. And this leads to the Dungeons of Forgotten Knowledge. The gate is shut. Ooh, forbidden A terrible knowledge. secret and the shame of the cult of knowledge. Forbidden lies knowledge! This gate. The gate is shut. Open the gate. But yeah, this is this is a cult that worships Yog Sothoth. For those of you unfamiliar with the Cthulhu mythos, Yog Sothoth is the keeper of is the is the gate and the key and the keeper of both and the 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 steward of forbidden knowledge. So, essentially, if if there's knowledge that he looks at and he's like, yeah, no, you shouldn't know this. Like, he'll still teach it to you, but he's going to tell you straight up, like, you shouldn't know this, are you sure? And, like, it's not going to be out of concern for your well-being. Oh, fuck no. He's, he's just going to be amused that you're asking for it. At best. And if he's not amused that he's asking that you're asking for it, he's essentially just gonna look at you and be like, oh, this is what you wanna know? That's it? Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Necromancer Kara. In time we will deal with the terror residing in the dungeons of forgotten knowledge. But yeah, Yog Sothoth, essentially, if you give him an offering and he finds it sufficient, he'll t he'll teach you what you want to know. He'll just be like, "Oh, this is what you want to know. I right. cool. This is what I want you to offer me." And then you offer it, and he's like, "I right. cool. Here you go." <laughs> That's essentially it. This door leads out to the Loamland, from which so many fled. I am thankful to the Cult of Knowledge for taking all of us in. And now it is time for me to begin my journey. Oh, shit. The Tower of Knowledge. Shrieky noises. Oh, I should probably put an arachnophobia warning up, huh? Hi, somebody... the giant spiders? Well, some of the stuff here could be taken as um, looking like 
giant enemy spiders. Yeah. Giant spiders! A spider tank! Added in an arachnophobia warning to the stream. Alright. Because I don't want to set anybody. <laughs> I don't I don't want to ruin anybody's day. <laughs> but yeah, this shit is just oh wow. Well, you know, Tori, we ruined at least one person's day just by existing. Yeah. <laughs> you know who I'm talking about. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey guys, guess what? What? Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> How dare. Easily. Want to see me do it again? Wikipedia. <laughs> <laughs> that was so dumb. <laughs> right? Like, dude, it's Wikipedia. Let it go. <laughs> Alright, and. Uh, ooh! Blood Band! I want that. Alright, time to spin the roulette. What you get? Damn it. I got a curse. No. Oh. I'm spinning again. Hopefully, I missed the curse this time. Damn it! <laughs> Motherfucker! <laughs> Gave me the same thing twice in a row. God damn it. <laughs> and now I have to play on colorblind mode. <laughs> Which is a problem because the reason that you can tell most of this shit apart is is because it's different fucking colors. Now I have to keep a double eye out for fucking movement. And the curses don't fucking wear off with time. No. They don't? No. How do you get rid of them then? I don't know! <laughs> oh no. You're in for a good time then, huh? Have fun, Tor. Yeah, last time I got a curse, it was, um... I forget what it was called. It was... It was something along the lines of that evil reaching thing. Or that evil long reaching thing. That's what the curse was called. And like, every so often it would spawn a tentacle that would like latch onto something. Or like, I would, I would sprout a tentacle that would latch onto something or swat back at me. Oh wow. Did you kill it? Well, I mean, I had to kill the tentacle every time it spawned. 
It's just, it was a curse, so it kept on coming back. <laughs> I mean, hey, it's free XP. Well, yeah, but it's also really fucking annoying, because what if I'm in the middle of something and I need to, like... And this is why you don't gamble, kids. No. <laughs> <laughs> Prime example. A rather extreme example, but a very good example nonetheless. <laughs> don't gamble, kids. I don't care what you're gambling for. Don't do it. Especially not if you're dealing with powers beyond your comprehension. Especially not then. Oh no, especially not fucking then. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Don't you recognize me anymore? No. You should never have joined that cult. Don't you know <laughs> that they too worship old outer gods? Eventually you'll learn about their guardian, their supposed key to knowledge. Shut up, Patrick. Regardless, mm -hmm. take my old family treasure from the chest. You'll need any what? help you can get. Why is he giving you something so precious? Uh, he's not gonna use it. Because it's a spell ring. <sighs> An uncommon that? spell ring. Mm -hmm. Hang on. You wanna see what it does? Fire! 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 All the things must burn. Oh, fuck. Yeah. Burn chicken. I burned the chicken. Oh, jeez. More of these fuckers. Ugh. Well, it seems like that was a bad idea. What? Burning the chicken. Oh, no. The chicken was fine. The chicken didn't do shit. It's just... More enemies spawned further in. Burn, baby, burn. <laughs> the fuck? Burn. No. Yeah. No. Ooh. New items. Poison Rot. Hmm. Oh, uh, like that essentially summons up a, a poison field around me. Uh, Observe. Nice. It's me the day I burned a hole in my underwear. <laughs> <laughs> Ha ha ha!
<laughs> the thing died instantly. <laughs> ah, it must be that bad, huh? <laughs> oh yeah, it's so bad. Just <laughs> good. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. <laughs> ha. Huh. 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 You're both dorks. <laughs> Aren't you dating one of us? Yes. So you did sign up for this. <laughs> <laughs> Am I complaining? I don't know, Just are you? <laughs> <laughs> These poor <laughs> bastards. Is this a shop? No, it is not. Oh well, more murder. Murder everything. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> another one. Already? Yeah, another flame lance ring. Huh. Nice. It's inferior, though. Oh, Ooh. sad. The sad. one I have equipped does 3 to 4 fire damage, has a plus 20% crit damage, and fi plus 5% 5 general damage. Wow. The one I just picked up lacks the plus 5% general damage. Oh. Mm. It's still going to sell for some decent money, though. Oh, yeah. Shop. Please tell me. Ah. Oh. All right. What are you buying? Well, first I'm selling a bunch of crap. Buy a better poison rot ring. 
sell that one back. Alright, so I've got a better poison rot ring. I am going to poison rot this field boss. Do it. Oh. Field boss isn't here yet. Bummer. Get poison rotted and burned, boy. <laughs> Come on! I got enough for all of ya! Oh, wow. That was a chunky boy. Oh boy, you a chunky boy! Look at that, I got 795 blood now. Nice. And it's rising higher! Yeah. Ooh, lightning lance. Let's equip that there. Zappy zap boy. Let's go! Oh, shit. Oh, fuck! This is why we need a way to remove curses. Oh shit. Yeah, remember that Even Star shit I mentioned? This is one of the guys that drops it. I got lucky and managed to get some good drops for it. First time I faced off against one of those, it killed me. <laughs> Cave of Lost Souls. Are you a lost soul? Yes. <laughs> then you belong there, Toru. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> Con congratulations, Tori. You found your home. <laughs> this is your hole. It was made for you. <laughs> hey. The altar of pyromancers has been found! I can use pyromancers now!
Also, don't mind if y'all hear some uh, crunching in the background. I am eating chocolate-covered espresso beans. Oh, jeez. <gasps> you have chocolate-covered espresso beans, too? No, I have a cannoli making kit. A what? A cannoli kit. What's cannoli? It's a Italian dessert. Where you yeah, have these, uh, these shells with uh, either icing or some sort of filling in the middle. Sounds like fun. Oh yeah. I can't see how much damage I'm doing. Like, I can I'm see their health bar. Four. Say what? I said I'm, I'm guessing three to four. Nah, it's just, I can see the amount of damage that I'm doing, but I can't see how much of their health bar it's taking off. Because of the colorblind. <laughs> Of I am cursed to have a lack of knowledge. Oh shit! Fuck! Ah! I'm about to fucking die. <laughs> awaken. Say what? Said awaken your inner instinct. I'm about to go ultra instinct. I'm about to ruin this man's whole career. <laughs> I'ma ruin your whole fucking career, boy -o. <laughs> And by ruin your career, I mean I'ma take your fucking life now. 
They killed me. Oh. <laughs> Bummer. Yeah, it took me 37 minutes to gather 4,109 money and 1,646 blood. Nice. Those are rookie numbers. <laughs> they're, they're absolutely 100% rookie numbers. <laughs> Get good, Toru. Well, I mean, there's only so much I can do with basic shit. <gasps> and I'm starting with a blood band! Excellent. For the band of blood. Band and great fireball ring. Fuck yeah. Look at that. This shit is so powerful. Oh. And check this out. Book of the Dead. It now shows. It now has uh, my previous character recorded in the Book of the Dead. Nice. Yee. Mm-hmm. So essentially, the way they explain your multiple lives and multiple runs in this game... The fuck? Want to offer promotion of my channel? Oh, not sure if I should take that up. Oh, yes. Hermit loner. Doubt. Loud screaming noises. <laughs> <laughs> Extra doubt. Extra doubt. <laughs> I'm still making that one my stickers for Kaharu. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Just Kaharu with a squinty expression. Just <laughs> squint. <laughs> Oh jeez, look at these big boys. They are rather large. Good thing they can't fit through that door. Oh yeah. So I can plink at them with impunity. <laughs> Except for that one. Never mind.
eat fire at all. Mm, mm, bring it. Now we open this one, Hood of Yin and Yang. This one I don't really like using because it increases how much damage I take. Yeah, I don't really like that. So I'm probably going to be swapping it out as soon as I pick up another hood. Probably a good idea. Like, yeah, high risk, high reward, and all that, but in my eyes, it's not worth the risk. Come on, bro. Come at me, bro. Take a swing, bro. Why are you disrespecting me, bruh? <laughs> South Park was fucking amazing. Mm -hmm. It was. The fucking episode where Randy was ex was challenged to a bro off and it was literally just them circling each other with their arms up and just going hey, come right. on come at me bro who's there it's Hello. a ride <laughs> right what's up <laughs> you piqued my interest <laughs> hello Source of madness. Hello. And I joined the voice chat at an interesting time. Yeah. Yeah, we were talking about South Park and Randy getting challenged to a bro off. Oh, okay. Now I know the context. <laughs> Yeah, it was literally just them. It was the guy who challenged Randy and Randy himself just circling each other with their arms lifted up like, you know, like college Chad dude bros and just shouting at each other. It was something along the lines of, Come at me, bro. You come at me, bro. Come on, bro. Swing. You swing, bro. Why are you disrespecting me, bro? I do respect you, bro. All right. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, other than us respecting each other, how are we? <laughs> Doing all right. I am enjoying the source of madness. Oh fuck. Fuck. You already greeted me. Ah. Too late, you're getting greeted again. <laughs> <laughs> Deal with it. I'm going to do some roulettes. If anyone wants to tag along, I know you want to, Cora. <laughs> I am currently streaming. Okay. <laughs> on Twitch. Oh boy. Okay. <laughs> ah. Ironically, I just got out of a roulette. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see. A single roulette. What kind of roulette? It was the Alliance Raid one. Because oh, we did DPS. Well. well, would you look at that? I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> I 
Are we gonna have another quick trial, Rye? You know what? I have to <laughs> <quite> <laughs> trial. Quick. <laughs> oh, hi. Hey. How's it going? Oh, it's like, well, hey, who geez. wants to do a quick trial? <laughs> Immediately gets thrown into Warrior of Light. <laughs> Yes, a quick trial. So it may take longer. <laughs> Attention passengers, we will be experiencing delays. The experience may vary. Like, sometimes you might get monkeys as party members. <laughs> <laughs> to be fair... I had not run that since it came out. Oh, you weren't the only monkey there. <laughs> you missed using the ring, didn't you? Say what? Uh, not really. Start <laughs> <laughs> with the trial. Watch yes, a, a quick trial. Alright, mm -hmm. it's going to be Emerald Weapon, or one of the weapons. Or is it? Dun dun dun. Let's find out. What is it? Sephiroth! Okay. This should be somewhat quick. Assuming like people don't get sure. shrecked by that one mechanic that everybody gets tripped up on. No, the one with the orb. I still don't understand that. <laughs> that mechanic. <laughs> but hey, at least it's not Sukoyomi. Ah. Uh... <laughs> and that response explains everything. Sorry, I just had to make sure it wasn't one of those fucking persistent curses. Because all the colors seem a bit washed out. Gamer sack. <gasps> mm -hmm. No. Wait. Damn it. No. Yes. How are you liking your game to Haru? You are going to find out why I've been freaking out momentarily. Okay. Mm -hmm. We did it. We did it. Oh yeah. Or did we? Yeah, as soon as that big enemy comes on screen, you're gonna find. Oh! Or, better yet, you're gonna find out right now. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I summoned a black hole. The power of Yog Sothoth reigns supreme, bitches. Wait, let go of me, you little shit. Oh, I tore you, you made a friend. I don't want this friend. He's an asshole. He won't let me go. He's clingy. <laughs> No, fuck you. Stay away from me. Get off. Oh, that's unfortunate. Uh, for this one, uh, is it the opposite? Damn it. Hey guys, you want to see another black hole? Kind of. Ow. <laughs> <laughs> You're way too happy about that. I'm summoning a literal black hole. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, guys, we have no healers. Yeah! It's fine. Please, melee DPS. No! They got it off. They got it off. They got it off. Uh, dear Agony! Oh. There's so many babies still alive! Oh god! Oh, oh my god! <laughs> Please, I beseech you! Rai, how are you still alive? Too angry to die! <laughs> Sheer, unadulterated, fuck you levels of spite. <laughs> Ra, you good? I just saw my life <laughs> slowly tick bit by bit. <laughs> I feel really boring. <laughs> Oh, there's another big one for you, huh? That's a blue health bar. Sure. Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. I need, I need a walk. Uh, alright. <laughs> hey, Torrier, can I, uh, interest you in some bullet hell? I mean, I'm kind of already dealing with that right now. Some, but not enough. Next, this is normal raise. If you want to pick up for that. Damn it! Yeah, we still got uh, an hour until we have to get to our event. You know what? Fuck it. Black hole. Black hole! Go! Did that do it for everything on the field? Wait, did it die? Did it? Oh my god, the black hole killed it. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yes! 
Amazing. Sheer, unadulterated, fuck you, levels of spite. I feel that. <laughs> Please don't poke, I am very fragile. <laughs> you have been booped. I have been booped. <laughs> 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 All right. It's gonna be C five to eight. I like your panic running around in circles. <laughs> Look at my anxiety in full display. <laughs> Meanwhile, I'm Meanwhile, running. Meanwhile, Hank? That's a name. Oh, we also got a face waifu. Around, back and forth. <laughs> Just plinking away waifu. at this fucker. <laughs> base, base waifu. <laughs> I have my black hole and my blood ring. Let's How long go. Does that take to uh, recharge their Torio. Recharge what? The black hole. Um. A good few seconds. Mm. I think it's somewhere around like 30 ish seconds. So I can't just spam it like my, uh. Like my fireballs and my, um. Of course not. And my blood band, but. It, it does a lot more damage. The downside to my black hole is that it will also kill me if I'm not careful. So... I'm sure you'll be fine. Oh yeah, I'll be fine. That was right. <laughs> so fucking good at this game. Da shit. Guess we're not gonna stand on those then. Oh, I you did. Shit, you ugly ass amalgamation of tentacles and eyes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted a friend. <laughs> I just wanted a smooch. <laughs> Speaking of tentacles. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. Don't 
fuck. Ah. I can regenerate off of non-living shit. I can regen health off of stone obstacles. Oh, this is going smoothly. I know, right? Too smoothly. Beware. That was sarcasm, Tor. <laughs> Good. Ah. <laughs> no more scattling for me. <laughs> Warrior Flight wants a hug! <laughs> I can imagine that actually being a headline. Just like, Warrior of Light found curled into a ball after most recent <laughs> battle with a primal. Desperately begs for hugs. Maybe we'll get it this time. <laughs> Somebody... No, apparently not. Oh, God. Oh, shit. Oh, Mike. <laughs> ah! The black hole kept expanding. Why does it keep dropping the same fucking hood? I don't want the yin and yang. I don't want to have my incoming damage boosted. I don't want to take more damage. Stop. Speaking of damage, my anus! <laughs> Is Here. it prepared? That's no protection. <laughs> that, yay. <laughs> Not gonna lie, I was kind of tempted to stand in the, the dead zone just so you, so you could get the proc from it. Mm. I'm going for it! Oh boy! That didn't do much, did it? It did a percentage. Uh... <laughs> Is it dead yet? Ten percent! Uh. <laughs> you can do it! Ow. Ryan, what did you do? Nothing. Did you stand near the bomb when I was setting it off? No. Right. Listen, I just love it. I, I just love it on my face. <laughs> His mother told him one day he would die on the field of war. He chose in a ball of fire. <laughs> we did it. We did it. Yeah. yeah. Wow, these eldritch monstrosities are pretty fucking dumb. <laughs> yeah. 
Two of them just jumped on those red spikes down there. Sounds about right. Uh-oh. There we go. They don't have a lot in the way of salt preservation. <laughs> no, they don't. And why do I keep getting the same fucking HUD? I don't want it. You good, Ryan? <laughs> yes, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the uh, expert or no, no, no time. Yeah, we takes, probably got a bit of time. That takes what, fifteen minutes ish. Alright, sorry about, about that. Hold on, what? I have to change classes for expert. Okay. All right, let me go repair my gear real quick. Mm -hmm. Oh, I should do that too. Not a bad idea. <laughs> Oh shit! Uh, do you want a healer or a DPS? Surprise me. That is not helpful, right? <laughs> Alright, hold on. Do your healing. Okay. I heal. Okay, do. Oh. Uh, Toru's fighting another boss. Oh boy. Have fun, Toru! Oh, I will. <laughs> <laughs> I just dropped another black hole. Did it kill it? No, I'm gonna have to drop down there as soon as my black hole recharges. Hey, that's a nice legacy. Let's go! Yeah. Hey, we got two dragoons. I oh boy. You better eye me. I'll be very salty. <laughs> you can have a buff. You can have a buff. Everybody gets to buff. Death. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, another generalist? Oh, I was gonna revive you, but that works too. <laughs> no, I got my, my cooldown back. We're good. <laughs> I thought, you, I thought you were saying rough, like like a dog type of rough. <laughs> right. like, 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 why are you doing that? <laughs> oh, because I'm giving you a car. Okay. It's a buff, not a rough. <laughs> right. I mean, I mean, it could have been a boof. It could have been a boof. You know, maybe that that's how I um give good cards to you. I boof you. <laughs> is a boofer. Put this down. You can't change lambs during our dungeon, can you? Nope. Damn it. Oh. Well, not if it's on a glamour plate. Ah. You can glam items, but they can't be on the glamour plates. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. That's a weird restriction. Well, glamour plates you can only, like, change if you're in a sanctuary, right? 
I guess. Yeah. So, therefore, you cannot do it in a dungeon. <laughs> bah. A dungeon is the exact opposite of a sanctuary. <laughs> I mean, it could be. I I don't know how this would be considered a sanctuary, Rai. Look at what's going on right now. I mean, look at it. It's, it's, it's prime real estate. We're murdering monsters that are trying to kill us, Rai. Getting rid of the monsters for, 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 for houses. There you go. A sanctuary. <laughs> All right, where's the etherite? Where, where's that gonna go? Where, where the boss is? <laughs> <laughs> right here? Yes. <laughs> Divination for everybody. Attack right. boost. I love how you and the other dragoon just gave each other your eyes. <laughs> Good. <laughs> <laughs> uh. You guys just swapped eyes! <laughs> like, you're sitting in the lunchroom. Hey, your mashed potatoes look good. Hey, your mashed potatoes look good. <laughs> no, it's more along the lines of, Hey, your mashed potatoes look pretty good. Oh man, your gravy looks awesome. <laughs> Hey, if you give me half of your mashed potatoes, I'll give you half of my gravy. <laughs> ah! Ah! Ow! Okay. This is my life now. That's okay. Because I'm the healer. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that hit me. Yeah, I can see that, right? <laughs> I can see that debuff. All the China knows my shame. I got caught in that. <laughs> <laughs> Are you still seeing them? Yes. Yep. Hello, Twitch. I've come bearing stories of D and D. Yay! Oh. Yay! D and D no, I'm, stories. I'm I am playing as this uh, dragonborn bard that has a little bit of wolf in him, right? I- I have a minus one in intelligence. <laughs> of course. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, today, in particular, like, uh... Ah! Sorry, Peanut's smacking my stuff. <laughs> Good doggy. So, like... So like I'm oh, following the party into yeah, this right. fancy hotel that I definitely don't belong in, and <laughs> I decided to take a handful of like the complimentary snackies and stuff them into my pocket. They're cookies with like mint frosting. My character doesn't like mint, so um, <laughs> he's he's on the elevator going up. He's bouncing a little bit. The operator tells him, "Don't do that." So he just kind of shrugs, uh, bites into a cookie, <laughs> <laughs> and then he keeps, and then he keeps eating it. So every so often, everyone's like talking, and then there's just the <laughs> when he bites into his cookie. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, Havix realizes that my character doesn't like the frosting because it's minty. So she steals a cookie, licks the frosting off. Shoves it into my character's mouth and he. Whoa, the cookie's better! <laughs> <laughs> and I had to roll to see if he realized that she had just t 
taken the frosting off the top and that was what made it better. And I did, thankfully. So he just started like wiping the frosting off and flapping it into the cookie bowl so that uh, the Havocs could eat it. <laughs> That's fucking amazing. And there, and uh, we get up and we're all explaining plot line things, and we're saying, "Oh, this is what we need to do. This is what we need to find." Blah blah blah. Shut up, Echo. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up, Alexa. Echo, stop. <gasps> There's another black hole. Ah! Ah! So anyway, we get up to the top and. We're, like, explaining the plot things, and my character's, like, listening, nodding along. And, uh, the Draco, the DM's character, just says, Okay, um, how much of this have you actually understood, Kane? And he says, I've, I've just been pretending I understood. And he says, I appreciate the honesty. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, we, we're trying to find, like, a sponsor to back up our adventure, right? So we go to the Adventurer's Guild, and, uh... Shit, what, did, what even was it that I did there? Something! Oh, uh, yeah. Because, um, I, I'm a bard. I have my drum. And I was trying to play, like, one thing, and someone else says, like, you try something more, like, rhythmic. And he says, Rhythmatic. He starts looking around for the loot. I roll my perception, which, you know, is an intelligence, and I have a negative one in intelligence. <laughs> and my character basically, oh, there's a loot! No, wait, that's the drum I'm already holding in my hands. <laughs> <laughs> I did not find a loot, needless to say. Aww. Also, someone in. <laughs> yeah, someone in the party is a, uh, I don't remember the name of the race, but basically his hair looks like fire, so, Genasi. uh, Kane just, huh? Genasi? Yeah, that one. And so Kane was like, your head is on fire! And he's like, no, no it's not, that's just what it looks like. And then Kane kept trying to give him head pets to see if it was fire. <laughs> So, um, yeah, that's how my day has gone. <laughs> how is your day going? He didn't let him. He, like, backed away. Aww. Bummer. Well, if there are fire Dronasi, then their hair is pretty much likely to be on fire, yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, um, that's how productive my day was. <laughs> uh, Very. I have made a terrible choice. I'm okay. <laughs> I am somehow okay. Are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Are you sure about that? At least he made a oopsie. <laughs> Would you say it was a whoopsie poopsie or a whoopsie it's... daisy? No, no, it's yes. an uh oh spaghetti -o. <laughs> Ah, gotcha. Your honor, my uh... client pleads oopsie daisies. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god! You yes! Oh, I did get the get fun! You get her high! <laughs> I don't think he's okay. Rye, are you okay? He needs some milk. You're Rye, right. do you require assistance? I am good. I think <laughs> Rye committed an oopsie daisy. Oh, I God. did it. That, that's the problem. <laughs> I, I, what? I, I did it. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, just what I'm saying, your honor, my client pleads, uh oh, spaghetti yo. <laughs> That's just hilarious. Your honor, my client pleads, uh oh, spaghetti yo. <laughs> oh shit, we can't argue with that. <laughs> we 
have fun in this Discord. <laughs> yeah. Your Honor, my yeah, client like pleads her. oopsie daisies. My <laughs> Just like one day. He walked daisy into a... With a referential to up <laughs> He walked into a mall parking lot with a with a saw. I don't think oopsie daisies will cover it. <laughs> Well, that's a bit more of an oopsie poopsie if you ask me. <laughs> Cue face palms all around. <laughs> we like to have fun in this Discord, just yes, like the time we, we were all telling our embarrassing poop stories. <laughs> Hi, Twitch! Hi, Twitch! Hi, Twitch! <laughs> I shit myself. Uh. <laughs> I'm trying to heal, <laughs> That's too bad. Not only did that man shit himself, he also got lost in a straight hallway. Twice. Twice. <laughs> in less than twice in as many minutes. <laughs> I bullshit you not. I came back to lead this man out of the straight hallway that he was lost in. <laughs> Somehow he got turned around, lost sight of me, and got lost again. <laughs> and another straight hallway. No, in, in the, the same, same straight, straight hallway. hallway. <laughs> <laughs> and yet Shashai trust me with the traps on Project Zomboid. I don't remember where I put that shit. <laughs> it did the cut stink. It hurt. <laughs> ah. uh -oh. There it is! Uh -oh. I think stink. my leg's gone. <laughs> Mine too! It's just like <laughs> Hey Shashai, ah. good news and bad news. The good news is, I found the trap. The bad news is. I lost half my leg. <laughs> it's fine. Who needs legs? <laughs> Who needs legs? <laughs> Surely there's wheelchairs in the zombie apocalypse, right? I can have a peg leg! Peg leg! I always wanted to be a pirate when I grew up. I thought you wanted to be a fire truck. Yeah, I wanted to be a fire truck when I grew up. I thought you wanted to be a cowboy. I wanna be a cowboy, baby! Case in point! <laughs> I wanna be a cowboy now, but when I was growing up, I wanted to be a fire truck. Not and a fire man! A fire, a fire truck. truck! And I wanted to be a fire truck so bad that I would put baskets on my head and run into walls. <laughs> Is that what you thought fire trucks <laughs> did? I, I guess! I don't know. I was like a stupid little child. <laughs> Remember when I said I must be magical being you? <laughs> <laughs> I can tell you one thing, it's certainly magical being me. <laughs> ah, that must be why I have headaches all the time. <laughs> No, you think? <laughs> you think? <laughs> uh, maybe. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. <laughs> Man, I must get peanut headaches all the time with all my shrieking. <laughs> yeah, she's probably looking at you right now like, Would you shut the fuck up? I'm trying to sleep. <laughs> she looks... She just looks tired. She yeah. always looks tired, though. What I said. Will you shut the fuck up so I so I can sleep? <laughs> Unfortunately, I do not yet have the money to buy my black hole. I must no, gain that's... more currency. Hey, potato man! Potato man! Hello! Hello, Mutaro. I am streaming right now. Somebody's gonna have to read out everything Potato Man says. I'll- I'll do it. Hey yo! Fun fun! <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Oh god! Bruh. Bruh. Just <laughs> bruh. 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 <laughs> Why are you not spitting on my screen? You're just running around. <laughs> you just kind of do this awkward shuffle back and forth and side to side when you do that. I'm not even there, but I can guess what you're doing. <laughs> uh, I don't think you can because you haven't gotten this far, Endwalker. <laughs> You're still stuck in Shadowbringers! So you mean Rai isn't doing the thing where they like try to run in circles? No. No. Uh. <laughs> oh, you sound so disappointed! <laughs> 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 uh. I wanna see you make yourself dizzy, man! What the <laughs> fuck is happening here? That person's gonna get so confused about having three comms. Oh, I have another thing. I have another story of things that happened in D&D. &D. Yay! So, um, we may or may not have actually accidentally, like, commanded a random, innocent, like, shop person to build, like, this throne. What? And he, he, he didn't even realize he was doing it. We didn't even realize we were commanding him to do it. It just kind of happened. And so, of course, he's terrified of it, so my character walks up, tries, like, touches the throne, and it steals all his spell slots, so of course he, <laughs> and then, like, flops over, right? And he says, don't touch the chair, it bites! <laughs> and so someone else goes up and touches the chair. And then someone else goes up and touches the chair. Same results! Except the last guy didn't even have any spell slots, so he got exhaustion level one. And I said, and Kane's just like, I just said not to touch the chair because it bites, and you all are touching the chair. <laughs> Alright, we can go to uh, where the event is. Okay. Alright. <laughs> just like, oh yeah, we knew it bit you, but we were thinking that it wouldn't possibly bite us. <laughs> Do you think that you're special? <laughs> I love how they were told not to touch the chair, and they knew no, why. Then they all go to touch it anyway. Yeah. <laughs> well gee, it's almost like a certain room. someone who decided to stab a pool of amber <laughs> on the ground. <laughs> well, she wasn't going to poke it with her bare hands. Okay, but like... It's an unknown thing in a world where mimics are commonplace. <laughs> and she stabs Toru. it. Toru. There's a reason she's chaotic good, and it's literally because she doesn't know any better. Well, I'm reasonably certain she would have at least heard references of mimics. Toru, she's... She spent her entire life isolated in a temple. Okay, but at the very least, I'm reasonably <laughs> certain that she would have been told, Hey, there's things that look like other things. Be careful. Peanuts <laughs> getting switches. Peanuts getting switches. I give y'all shit. <laughs> <laughs> we know. We're your best friends. <laughs> <laughs> Don't deny it. We know it. Oh, I'm you, absolutely you, you going you, you to deny you, it. You don't even have to say anything. We already know. It's okay. We love you too. Are you fucking kidding me? I hate you all with the very fire of my being. Well, Peanut loves you. Peanut's a dog. She doesn't count. Peanut counts? She's the best dog. She's made of good. She would love me if I waved a hot dog in her face. 
<laughs> she would love anyone if they waved a hot dog in her face. Exactly, so she doesn't count. Yes, she does. <laughs> Peanut's opinion always counts. Hot huh, Peanut. So in the Blood Sands <laughs> Discord, I roll to see if Jurch and Kaharu got away without the white scent noticing them. Right. I rolled an 809. <laughs> They succeeded. <laughs> Alright. You did it. Yeah. You Good did job. It. Congratulatainment. <laughs> Ooh, the Oxithoth's blessing. Snug. Snug puppy. I feel like it's just like a habit now where if I'm sitting around and not doing anything, I, I just have to smooch the dog. And it's it's like a subconscious thing now. I just do it so often. <laughs> oh shit. Uh. me. Grosso? Yeah. Ew! Ew! I shall murder all of the- oh fuck. Oh god! No! Pyromancer. <laughs> Give me the pyromancer. I will burn everything. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. Disco Inferno. Oh, excuse me. Bless you. I got me a better life flask. I'll take 20. <laughs> uh, I wish I could have a better life flask. I wish I could have a life flask that has 20 charges. Give me that shit. <laughs> Imagine being sat at the bottom of a hill and all of a sudden two fireballs just fly over the lip and smack you in the face. Rip. That sounds like Final Fantasy. Yeah. <sighs> Really? Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. What? What uh -huh. did I do? What did I miss? Ah. <laughs> yeah. Eat shit. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I can now burn things by dodging away from them.
I now have the murder dodge. Yeah. Woo. Yeah. <laughs> Bird baby. Oh well. Wow. What's that down there? Ooh. That is a spike pit. I do not like spike pits. Spike pits are my least favorite thing to jump in. <laughs> Why did you do it, Carl? Probably because I'm a dangerous sociopath with a long history of violence. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I can't believe you keep forgetting that. I'm murdering chickens. Oh. I'm dual wielding great fireball rings. I'm going to do all of the fire damage. Just imagine being around somebody like this. It's just like, hey, how much fire damage are you doing? Yes. <laughs> so I see why. How big is the tribe land? Or is it re represented in, in game uh, accurately? The, the tribe uh, house we have? Yes. That that that's the size of the tribe house. Okay. And it is indeed in Thanalan. Okay. You know what? I'm gonna hold off buy on buying a new ring, and instead, I have my black hole. Fun fact, did you know that the Dark Souls series was originally going to be named Dark Hole, except that has very bad implications in Japan? Does it? Wait, what does? Dark Hole. It's a euphemism for a certain something. Hmm. 
<laughs> I can imagine. <laughs> I think I have a pretty good idea. Hi Twitch, how are you? You doing good? Hi Twitch! <laughs> Lord Bezos, we are very say so. Oh yeah, that was leading into the to me imparting the fact that they considered calling it black hole, but they decided against it because apparently it didn't flow as well. Finally got him. <laughs> Hello, cell phone alarm. Uh, that was it telling me to take my meds, but jokes on it. I already took my meds. Woo! What's this? Yeah. Oh fuck! No oh, shit. <gasps> I found a thing! Oh fuck! Hey there, uh, mini boss. <laughs> uh, let's see how much damage I did. Oh my god, I killed it. But yeah, for those of you interested in playing this game, excellent, uh, excellent combo for that particular enemy. <laughs> Use the Pyromancer with the Black Hole. Pyromancer with the Dark Gateway ability. So, how's y'all's duties going? Oh, we're done. That's why we're all quiet. <laughs> yeah. All done for the moment.
I am noticing that every time y'all do that with me, something happens. Some, I, I don't know if it's magical or just a curse, but it, it just keeps. It, this is this is happening a lot. So, um, I may or may not be wandering through a spooky place in another window, so um, if you do have spooky, that's why. What game are you playing? Uh, I'm on VR chat, and I found a uh, Freddy Fazbear's map. <laughs> and I'm wandering around and I I'm honestly just waiting for the jump scare. It's gonna happen at some point. We all know it is. Oh, I recognize this place. Oh no. No, I'm, I'm not going in there, no. Oh my gosh. Um. It's dark Come on, here. Wubs. You have to say <gasps> hi to the animatronics. There's this spatter of jelly over here. <laughs> I'm leaving. I don't think they have the animatronics in the map. They could. What's this? Then what are you worried about? What? There's no animatronics. <laughs> Like, honestly, when you know that there's a jump scare about to happen, and it doesn't happen, that's even worse than the jump scare just happening, because then you're waiting for it, and then it's just suspenseful, and then it's like, when, when is it gonna happen? When are you gonna do the thing? <laughs> I think this is the map from the second game. Oh, that's interesting. Oh! I don't like the way that one- that poster is looking at me. I don't but like how you're looking at me! I hate this! I don't know what this is, but I hate it! Hold on. For like anyone at Discord can stare at this too. What is this? What is this? I found some kind of secret area. Yeah. I mean, I, I got in here with the intention of, uh, that door's locked. I got in here with the intention of fixing my avatar, and then I kind of just started wandering. VR chat avatars, do you make them yourself, or are they just avatars that, that are just pre-made? Yes. Uh, yes, and no. Okay. You can make them... You can buy them, you can find, like, free public ones to use. Uh, this is one that I bought. I'll- I'll find a mirror. Where's the mirror? Look, look, look from here, though. It's just staring at me. What is that? Is that? The price counter. Yay! Oh. Yeah, they definitely don't have the animatronics in here. Oh. That's upsetting. I need to find a map that does now. I, I want to get spooked. Bruh. <laughs> oh Bruh. my gosh. Bruh. Oh. I died again. Uh, I see. Uh.
Um, the avatar is broken. Okay. I don't. I don't know why this is happening. I'm gonna. Um. I'm gonna. This is the avatar. Oh. That's cool. You have four, five, six eyes? No, just two. Right? Oh, yeah, alright. <laughs> cool. Yeah. Well, parts and service. That scared the shit out of me. It was my own <laughs> reflection. <laughs> I will be right back. First you get lost in a straight corridor, then you get jumpy around your own reflection. Mm -hmm. Come on I mean, now, to be words. fair, it was directly fr in front of the door, and all I saw was something black and white and just about my size charging at me. Come on, wubs. <laughs> I'm gonna see if there's an actual spooky world. I know if there is one in existence, but... I'm gonna go get a drink real quick. Alrighty. Okay. Um, this looks spooky. Spooky, scary skeletons okay, leave shivers, shivers down, down your, your spine. spine. <laughs> oh, what is this? Ah! Burn. This one's good. It's gonna fucking light things on fire. Kill them slow. Painful. I don't think there's anything else to this world. That's a little boring. <laughs> That's very right. Truly, this is where I'll get spooked. I have drink. Welcome back. Oh, well. Thank you. I hate this. I hate this immensely. In a good way or a bad way? Yes. <laughs> you don't remember how to... I'ma probably die. Yeah. Like you did. Point before. But I'ma probably die again. 
<laughs> At least Soon. you made peace with it. Oh, hey. Should I show them the place that I showed you? Which with one? The, with the special effects. Yes! McDonald's. Hold on. Let me, uh, find it. I think it was this one. window is prone to seizures, um, don't. <laughs> I'm warning you now. <laughs> yeah, that shit is an epileptic nightmare, but holy shit is it cool. Yeah. Uh, I'm gonna go to this side. Yeah, I, I, this was one of the very first worlds that I went to when I was in VR chat. And, uh, recently I went to it again and I had my VR headset on. That was hell. <laughs> This one. I don't know what it is. You ready? I'm gonna take that silence as a yes. Sorry, I'm busy murdering eldritch horrors beyond human comprehension. It's okay. This one's a little bit lame. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, um... I can feel my frames. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, that might be, uh, my internet. Oh no, How's it's absolutely that? the world.
Surprisingly well enough, it's not lagging at all on my end. Is it getting closer? I think it's getting closer. Oh god. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna have to call this stream a, a night as soon as I die again because I'm starting to get really tired. Fuck. Yeah. Go sleep. Go sleep. Honestly, I probably should have hours ago, but I was like, nah, I want to play Source of Madness. Well, Go that's your sleep. own fault then, isn't it? It is. Yeah. I'm not denying it. <laughs> Shit, I'm I'm acknowledging it's a problem. I'm bored of this one. Let's try. Which one was the one with the pyramid? Was it this one? I don't remember. Fireball device. Where did it go? <laughs> I like the square thing right there. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> uh Stupid idea. Hmm. Uh, never mind. I'm oh, gonna fuck. try something. Oh, I found the one with the pyramid. Watch this, you ready? This is like a a boss mechanic. I just oh started multiple at the same time. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wubs. <laughs> what have you done? Yeah. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> what have you done? <laughs> I'm not even looking, but what have you done? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Frame. Oh lord. What's the point of all these effects? <laughs> <laughs> there is none. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Oh lord! <laughs> wow. 
What have you done? Oh, my computer's gonna melt! It's probably trying not to. <laughs> Just like, oh god, why? Holy crap. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking computers just sitting there. I am a shard of glass in the frame of reason. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that Patrick's not more mad about the fact that some random cultist just broke into his house, stole his shit, and left. I'm gonna go to the other side and see what happens. Couldn't move for a second. If I remember correctly, there's not really much going on on this side. Yes. What would happen if I started all the ones on the angel side and then ran all the way back over and started all the ones on the other side? Your computer would die. I'm gonna do it. No, Wugs, <laughs> don't. Yes! There's no way to handle all of those effects! <clears throat> okay, I will be back in a few. I'm gonna go eat dinner. Oh. Yep, yep. I'm gonna be here just murdering eldritch monstrosities. Don't mind me. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the cacophony of sounds and bull, and then just the very faint Mariah Carey. <laughs> That's what Mariah Carey should sound like. Yeah. I do feel bad for her, though. Why? Why? Because she sang that one song, and then all of a sudden, that's all anybody knows her for. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, oh, you're that I don't want a lot for Christmas woman. <laughs> Your song is the bane of my existence. Thanks a lot. The nice side, and the other one is the death side. <laughs> what else can I do? All right, do my souls. Do you like transformers? Hmm? Do you like mudkips? Oh my gosh, I finished that with one HP. Nice. So I finished that section. That was about two and a half hours. That was a decent... That was a decent like the stream. Yeah. Yeah. 
yeah, thanks for thanks for hanging out with me for a bit, you guys. Yeah. And sitting with me while I showed off Source of Madness. And bear in mind, that's just the beginning of the game. This game gets so much better so fast. Because, like, once you start picking up upgrades, like, you don't have to get anything serious. Just a couple, just, like, one or two of the upgrades to the dash, and you're good. And, like, that's that's pretty much what's been fucking me over while I was playing this for you guys, was I was so much more used to having, like, shorter recharge <laughs> and, like, having the pyromancer thing for my dash and that's that's what was throwing me off until i managed to pick up the pyromancer and then i started getting better about it but like once you get into the groove of things oh man this game is so fun and like yeah it's difficult Ooh. and if the, if your rng is bad you're gonna you might have a bit of a hard time so I would say, you know, if you're going to play this and you know that your RNG tends to be rather bad, be careful, because <laughs> this game relies a fair bit on RNG, but otherwise, this game is amazing. It's so good. <laughs> but... Yeah, it's it's called Source of Madness. It is on Steam. I believe it is 19.99 as we speak. Uh, hmm. Let me double check. Not That's a bad nice. price. Yeah. Just let me double check real quick. Pulling up Steam here. Door page. Oh. Yeah, it's 19.99. If you want to buy it. Uh, if you want to buy the Nightmare Edition, which includes the game and the soundtrack, which is what I did, it goes up to twenty eight forty eight, and the soundtrack is, I believe, thirty tracks. Hmm. Let me double check. Ah, it's seventeen, and I believe it's around an hour of music. I'm gonna have to dip, guys. Y'all have a good night. You too. Right. Have a good one. Later. But hey, yeah. Good night. Like I said, Source of Madness. It is a heavily uh, Cthulhu Mythos inspired, uh, uh, heavily Lovecraftian type of thing. It's a roguelike. I.e. you start with nothing and buy new stuff in between runs. And then, you know, as you go through the game, it's it, it, it kind of gives you, like, it, it kind of just, like, sprinkles things in here and there. Little hints and, and little, little hints at what's going on. But... Yeah, it's you're you're going to be visiting various different locations throughout the Cthulhu mythos. And it's it's really good. It's so much fun. Like you're going to be visiting um some spoilers, you're going to be visiting the planet of Yif, which is where the race of the same name came from. And don't get me started, I could go all day. But, yeah. Uh, Lovecraftian game came out recently. Uh, let me double check here. Uh, relatively recently. It came out May 11th of last year. May 11th, 2022. I've had my eye on it for a while. since About since it was announced. And it's, I, I finally managed to pick it up and it's a very good game. It does have a multiplayer. I haven't tried it yet, but 
I might at some point later. But, yeah. Hmm. Um, if you... Wait, it has multiplayer? Yeah, it has a multiplayer. Oh! Hmm. We'll both murder Eldritch Horrors. Actually, no, I think it's a... I think it's a head-to-head -head multiplayer. Uh, we'll murder each other. And yeah. then get murdered by Eldritch Horrors. Actually, no, there's no Eldritch Horrors in the... Oh, it's up to five players. <laughs> oh my. Up to five players going head-to-head -head and trying to kill each other. Nice. With powers from Eldritch Horrors. But, yeah. It's, it's an interesting game. I have not tried the multiplayer yet because I just picked it up today and I don't think anybody's playing the multiplayer. But. Yet. Yeah. Well, I mean, if they're not playing the multiplayer now, they'll, they'll, then it's probably not likely that anybody's going to be playing it. Unless we put together a game ourselves. Yeah. But, you know, mm -hmm. like I said, um, I am not being sponsored by these guys, by the way. <laughs> hashtag sponsor Toru. No, hashtag not, hashtag I am not sponsored. Hashtag sponsor Toru. Someone sponsor him. I mean, I've had food. Yay! I'll be real if I do end up with a sponsor, I might be able to start streaming full time. <laughs> hmm. And if that happens, you'll see a lot more of shit like this. <laughs> but yeah, legitimately, I I enjoy this game. Um, I I got it a couple days ago. Been playing it for a little while. Um, in between Final Fantasy and Destiny and the Synced open beta, which is still on, by the way. It's on for, like, the next week. But, yeah. That was Source of Madness. Uh, thank you to everybody who swung by during the stream. Uh, I know nobody really talked in the chat, but... That doesn't mean that nobody swung by to take a look. Um, so thank you to those of you who did. Thank you to those of you who swing by on YouTube after I upload this. I appreciate your presence. Uh, thank you to Audius Wolf, Jerch, and Wubs. Everybody who Hello. dropped into Discord potato during man. my stream. Oh. Yeah, and Potato Man, I guess. <laughs> yeah! I like how he's just kind of owned up to that nickname now. <laughs> <laughs> Potato Man says, I don't count, fun. it's fine! <laughs> Potato, no! Well, no, <laughs> Potato Man! To be fair, Mutaro's not really a voice in the stream, so, like, nobody yeah, really still knew here, that. He... And it's the thought that counts. Yeah, but, like, Nobody would really know unless we said any, um, um, except for us saying stuff that he's here. I, I offered to read on his behalf and then he never said anything. <laughs> Didn't you hear my potato man voice? Uh, anyways, thank you to everybody <laughs> who swung by. Thank you to everybody who swings by later on YouTube. Um... I, I am going to be starting to upload stuff on TikTok, so keep an eye on there. And yeah, have a good night, everybody. Bye. Bye, Later. Twitch.